Hello, I'm Lenny and this is my seventh devlog. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the code for the tiles um, you asked about. I'm adding a each tile to the position um, specified here. So every 64 and every 64 pixels, there's like a new tile. Um, the tile is 65 pixels big, so they overlap, as when they didn't overlap, um, they had like white spaces in between and that looked ugly. The code for drawing them is here, it just iterates through the objects, ground objects and prints them. Um, I have added a new feature and that is, I'm actually drawing only stuff that is visible on the screen. So that boosted the performance quite a lot. Um, also um, printing the black background only for places where um, the map is, where the map edge is and where the player cannot go. So I'm not printing the big black square like before over the wall map that saves some uh, valuable computing time as well, <laughs> well boosts the performance. Um, yeah, that's probably everything I have changed from the code and to show you the main changes, um, I have tweaked the graphics a little bit. I have um, drawn some random stuff and my friend has drawn a... <laughs> the my character fried for me which looks pretty cool and I like it very much and the functionality uh, remains so you can still like inter interact with stuff and hide behind stuff and there are there are also small bushes um, which you can hide behind and to show you the edge of the map yeah and I have increased the map size as well um, so uh, it like uh, with the black stuff around the map, it like checks my position and my current position in the world and then decides where to print the black stuff. And it, it only prints like um, this square, well, yeah, this um, rectangle and not through the wall map. So the game is much faster now and it can be much bigger. Um, Alright, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to ask and see ya in the next one.